Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone. Today I have a quick little update video for you all with some very, very interesting news from the Alton Towers Resort. That's right, today we're taking a little break from Fright Nights and Project Exodus on my channel. And yeah, we're heading up north to Alton Towers. But be sure to subscribe to the channel to be notified when I upload all of those Project Exodus, obviously Fort Park's brand new roller coaster project videos. But yeah, as I said, today we are heading up north to Alton Towers where we got the official announcement today that the iconic roller coaster Nemesis would be closing on the 6th of November this year. And yeah, this is the way that Alton Towers announced this. Obviously, we've got this beautiful poster um, kind of themed to Phalax, who are, of course, the military operatives who kind of run everything over in Forbidden Valley. They deal with Nemesis and Nemesis Subterra and stuff. And then in the caption, it states, please make your way to Alton Towers Resort in an orderly fashion. So yeah, I have to say, I love the way that Alton Towers have announced this in like a themed way. They haven't just said a million apologies, Nemesis will be closing on this day. They've kind of put it into the whole Nemesis story, which is an amazing storyline. But yeah, there we go. Nemesis will be closing. Now, a lot of people I'm sure have been very confused by this. However, it is not going to be closing for good. Don't you worry. It's not exactly the most clear thing from this announcement, but uh, as a lot of people within like the theme park community know, Nemesis is due to undergo a massive refurbishment program in 2023, in which the entire track will essentially be replaced. Now, this is quite a normal thing to happen with roller coasters when they get to a certain age. And obviously Nemesis was built back in 1994. So it's getting on a bit. Um, and yeah, they're basically just going to be taking down the track and rebuilding it in exactly the same way. Now, this news has actually leaked um, earlier on in the year. I actually made an entire video about it. So yeah, we all knew it was coming. We just weren't too really sure on what date this work would be taking place and when Nemesis would actually close. And yeah, I think this is definitely a good way for theme parks to go about ride closures and stuff. You should always let the guests know that a ride is going to be shutting and then giving them the chance to go and experience it. I think they've gone about this Nemesis one a little bit better than they did with Jewel because although we got the amazing teasers for Jewel with like the chalkboard and stuff, there was never actually like an official announcement that Jewel would be closing for this year. So for the average guest that might not be like as clued up as all of us enthusiasts are, they might not have even known that Jewel was closing. So yeah, I really like that this has been an official announcement. It's been done properly. And yeah, I'm sure there's gonna be a huge, huge amount of people at the park on the 6th of November to go and say goodbye to Nemesis in its current form. Because of course, whilst they are rebuilding the track in exactly the same way, they have stated that they are gonna have to do something about the sound that Nemesis makes. Um, they're gonna be putting like sand in the track and supports just to try and dampen down the iconic Nemesis roar, which is a big shame, but it seems like it's just one of those things that they're gonna have to do. So Nemesis might not be roaring around the track as much as it currently does, when it hopefully reopens, but it's just one of those things. Now, an unfortunate thing about Nemesis being closed next year is that there's gonna be a fair amount of things at the park that aren't open next year. So we've obviously got Jewel, which is due to open, I believe in 2023, but whether if it's open right from the start, we're not too sure yet. And obviously Nemesis won't be open. So yeah, that particular area of the park isn't looking great. So there's been a lot of rumors that maybe we could be seeing a Nemesis Subterra reopening in 2023 and I would be well up for that. It was one of the best attractions ever at Alton Towers in my opinion and yeah it's been closed for the past few years unfortunately. They've had mazes in there during Scarefest like Project 42 but uh, no news on Subterra. But fingers crossed we might see some kind of announcement that would say Subterra will be opening to kind of keep the Nemesis story going in 2023 with obviously the main roller coaster being closed. And of course you can head down south to the uh, the better Nemesis, Nemesis Inferno at Fort Park. And yeah, just whilst I'm on the topic of Alton Towers, for those of you that might not have heard, we have had some very exciting news about a potential new roller coaster or ride coming to Alton Towers within the next few years. They actually sent out leaflets um, for a public consultation to the locals around Alton, just like they did at Fort Park with uh, Project Exodus. Now, nowhere does it state there's going to be a roller coaster, so we could be seeing some kind of just ride within a building, but it's looking like it's going to be located 
over by the Alton Towers dungeons and by David Walliams world. So at the moment, there's a lot of speculation going on in the community as to what kind of ride it's gonna be, what kind of theme it's gonna be. Is it gonna fit in with David Walliams? Are they gonna get rid of the dungeons and have an even bigger area? There's a lot of speculation going on. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated with any news we've heard. A Towers Times have actually reported that apparently that public consultation that was advertised on the leaflets was actually cancelled or postponed, I believe. However, Alton Towers have actually submitted planning documents already for this new indoor ride. So it's all very exciting. So yeah, it's a super, super exciting time to be a theme park enthusiast, whether if you live up north or down south, there's so many cool projects going on at the moment. And as I said, I'm still uploading regular Project Exodus, Fort Park's brand new roller coaster project videos here on the channel. So be sure to subscribe to be notified with all of the latest UK theme park news. And otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. My name's Jack Silkstone. Goodbye.